Hi, I'm Chef Desmond Fannin. I'm Director of Culinary Services at Sodexo, a cookbook author, and the head chef of the Fannin household. Now, thanks to Ingles, I'm going to cook with you and share some great recipes with you and your family. Today we're starting out at Ingles, getting the ingredients to make my pan-seared halibut with Asian cucumber relish. Here's what we need. For the halibut, we need four skinless, six ounce fillets, two tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon kosher salt, and one teaspoon ground black pepper. For the Asian cucumber relish, we need a half cup peeled, seeded julienne cucumbers, half teaspoon kosher salt, quarter cup peeled julienne daikon radish, quarter cup peeled julienne carrot, one tablespoon fresh lime juice, two teaspoons fish sauce, two teaspoons fresh cilantro leaves minced, one teaspoon mirin, and one teaspoon red or Thai chili minced. Remember, all of this is available on the website at ingles-markets.com. So you can print it out before you leave the house or you can pull it up on your phone while you're at the store. Now let's get cooking. All right, so let's get started. Uh, we're gonna take out a nice filet of halibut here. All right, so season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna take my glove off here so I don't cross contaminate my pepper here. Season it on top. And I'm actually gonna wait until it gets in the pan to season the other side with the pepper. So again, so that I don't cross contaminate my pepper container here. So we're using a non-stick pan. So we're gonna carefully flip here. A nice sear on it. You wanna flip the fish away from you so you won't splash yourself with oil. Okay. So we'll let that sit for a few seconds. Let that caramelize on the bottom. And then you can transfer this right into the oven if you have a ovenable pan, but we're gonna use a uh, casserole dish here. So once it caramelizes on the, on the bottom, you're able to pick it right up. Oh, there we go. Slide that nice halibut right on there. And just with the simple seasonings with the salt and pepper, I mean, it still smells wonderful here. All right, so we're gonna put this in the oven, 350, 350 degrees, and we're gonna cook it for about 10 to 12 minutes. All right. All right, so let's get started on our relish now that we have our uh, halibut cooking. So first thing we want to do is uh, take our julienne, our julienne English cucumbers here, and you can use regular cucumbers if you want. Kind of spread them out in a colander. Put a little bit of uh, salt on it. You normally set that aside to uh, let that drain for about 15 minutes. So while that's draining, I'm going to add our Julienne carrots and our crispy daikon radish. Um, and then we're gonna take some mirin and uh, fish sauce. And mirin, if you don't know what mirin is, is actually, um, it's a type of rice vinegar. It's used in Japanese cooking a lot. And um, it's kind of like sake, but it has a lower uh, alcohol content and it's a little sweeter. All right, so we have some Chop cilantro here. Man, that fish sauce is uh, <laughs> powerful. If you know about fish sauce, you, you know what I'm talking about. It's very pungent. All right, so we have a few white and black sesame seeds here. Okay. And then we're going to squeeze a little bit of lime juice in here. 
All right. There we go. It's one thing I like about limes. They don't have many seeds to, to fight with as lemons do. All right, so now, the fun part, I love doing this. We're gonna slice our chili. I'm gonna go ahead and dice and mince our chili here. I'm gonna show you a trick. Best way when you're dealing with a chili, go ahead and take the end off. You're gonna split it in half, and you wanna stay away as much as possible. You don't wanna lean right over it because that juice will pop up in your eye. You wanna make sure you have on a glove as well. All right, so you make a little indention right here in the bottom, flatten it out, and you just slide your knife across there. Make sure you put any seeds to the side because that's where the majority of the heat is. But we just want the natural heat and natural taste of the pepper itself from the flesh and the, and the outside. Okay. Then we'll just lay it down. Get a nice thin julienne cut on it. Okay. I'm going to lay it across. And you don't have to try to do it this fast, trust me. <laughs> I've cut myself enough times to know when to move my hand. Uh, so, just because I'm doing it this fast doesn't mean that you have to. All right, so we have it. All right, I think we're good there. So now we're gonna add these chilies. Let's just add half of it. That was a lot of chili. All right, and then after your cucumber has strained for that 15 minute period, I'll just put it all in here. All right, just give it a nice little toss. Make sure all the ingredients are incorporated. And I typically let this sit in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes so that all the flavors marry together and, and start to balance each other out real good. All right, now that that's done, now it's time to check out fish. We'll be right back. All right, so here we go. Halibut is all ready. Nice and hot, it's up to temperature. Now, when you're dealing with fish, you wanna make sure that you use a meat thermometer and um, you wanna make sure the internal temperature is, is 145 degrees for 15 seconds. That'll let you know that, that it's ready and all the bacteria is gone and it's safe to eat. All right, so our relish has been sitting. We're just gonna plate up one serving here. I'll look at the color on that. And take this nice filet here. Just set it on top there. Going to put a little bit of sesame seeds here around. All right, gonna garnish with a few sprigs of cilantro here. And there you have it. pan seared halibut with Asian cucumber relish. And we're out of time for today, but I wanna thank you so much for joining us here at the Ingles table. And remember, you can get this recipe, other videos, photos, and more on the website at ingles-markets.com. Until next time, see you online.